Hello, I'm JT Quicks. I love you all. You're all awesome. This week, we're going to talk about suicide. Suicide prevention. It's going to be like a suicide prevention video. Never give up to prevent suicide. That's what the name of the video is going to be, okay? All right? My soul's been in heaven for over 10 years now, okay? I see Satan. I see the truth in real time, okay? And I'm delivering this intelligence to you, okay? Uh, suicide is caused by evil, okay? I fight evil and suicide is caused by evil, okay? So we're going to talk about suicide prevention, okay? Because what happens is, in order to prevent suicide, what happens is your soul enters the war for heaven and you don't know it, okay? And what happens is you fall into a deep depression to where you live a life of no hope. And a lot, this is where a lot of people commit suicide because they give up. So what this video is going to be about is not to give up, never ever give up to prevent suicide. That's going to be the name of the video. Okay? I am JT Quicks. I love you all. You're all awesome. Okay? And I'm making these videos to remove your fear and to deliver your souls to heaven. Okay? All right? So. All right. Uh, what I do is I tell you everything I know about the war for heaven so you understand the war for heaven better. Okay? All right? Uh, what happens is when a person gets attacked by evil, right, what happens is this drives them into mental illness, okay? This will drive them into mental illness when a person gets attacked by evil, when they get attacked by prejudice and hate, okay? This is evil, okay? We get attacked by evil two different ways. We get attacked by evil through terrorism, okay? When evil attacks a country, that is terrorism. This attacks love and freedom and creates fear, okay, throughout its people, okay? Uh, when a person gets attacked by evil, they get attacked by prejudice and hate, okay? All right? They get attacked by prejudice and hate. This also attacks their love and freedom and creates fear on them, okay? And this is what causes... This causes mental illness and suicide when a person gets attacked by evil, okay? That's why I'm telling you, never ever give up to win against evil. Because if you give up and commit suicide, Satan wins. We don't want Satan to win. We want you to win. That's why I tell you, never ever give up to win against evil, okay? This will make your love unbreakable, okay? Because that's what happens. Evil breaks love and keeps it weak. Okay? That's what evil does. And when people get attacked by evil, they commit suicide. Because their, their soul is in the war for heaven and they don't know it. They just don't know it, that they're in the war for heaven. Okay? And this is where they fall into like a deep depression to where it hurts or, or they or to becoming mentally ill, okay? So what happens is evil causes mental illness and suicide. That's why I tell you never ever give up to win because if you're being attacked by evil, you're defending heaven, okay? All right? So, see, Satan started a war against heaven a long time ago, back before civilization, okay? And as civilization spread throughout the world, so did fear and evil, okay? Because it's fear and evil that is keeping your souls out of heaven, okay? So what happens is, what happens is we get attacked by prejudice and hate. This is keeping our love weak and broken, okay? And sometimes when we get attacked by this, this causes mental illness and depression, things like that, and this causes mental illness and depression and breaks you into suicide. By breaking you into suicide, it's making you give up. Prejudice makes you give up, okay? We don't want you to give up, okay? All right? 
all right? Because you're in the war for heaven. We don't want you to give up. We don't ever want you to give up, okay? All right? And that will prevent suicide. We don't ever want you to give up against evil. Never give up against evil. And that will prevent suicide, okay? If you commit suicide, Satan wins. If you don't commit suicide, you win, okay? We want you to win. We don't want Satan to win, okay? That's why I tell you, never ever give up to win against evil, okay? All right? And this will make your love unbreakable. Always believe in yourself, and that removes your fear, okay? When you believe in yourself, okay? And when you never give up, to win against evil. This makes your love unbreakable. So we have powerful, unbreakable love, just like Jesus Christ, okay? Because Jesus Christ was attacked by a lot of evil. He was attacked by a lot of evil. Evil couldn't break his love because his love was powerful and unbreakable. He was unbreakable, okay? I'm unbreakable, okay? That's how come I can see the truth from heaven, okay? Because I'm unbreakable love, okay? Uh, I've been through a lot, yes. I was attacked by mental illness. I was attacked by evil, okay? I went through mental illness. I'm in the deep depression. I am bipolar depressive because of this, because I was attacked by prejudice and hate and evil, okay? Down through the years, because I'm in the war for heaven, okay? And what happened was I went numb when I was attacked by evil. I actually went numb, okay? To where I went numb. It hurt so bad, I went numb, okay? I couldn't do anything. I couldn't operate a car or nothing when I was attacked by evil, okay? So I know what it is. I know what it's like to be attacked by evil. It hurts. You're dead at the bottom and it hurts. I understand that, but don't give up, okay? I want you to never ever give up because I know what it's like to be attacked by evil, okay? I removed my fear and that's how I overcame evil. I overcame suicide when I removed my fear, okay? So I'm trying to show you how to overcome suicide and then mental illness, you know? Do I want you to overcome mental illness and suicide, okay? When you overcome evil, you overcome suicide when you overcome evil. Okay? And you put your soul in heaven where it belongs. Okay? When you get attacked by evil, you're defending heaven. That's why I want you to never, ever give up against evil. Okay? Never, ever give up. Life can get tough. I know it can. I, I've been there. My life's been pretty tough. I was attacked by a lot of prejudice and hate. I got more prejudice and hate stories than Jesus Christ. Okay? I know. All right? So, I know what it's like to be attacked by evil. It hurts, okay? I went numb, I know, okay? That's why I never ever want you to give up to win against evil, okay? My body went weak and my spirit went numb, okay? When I was attacked by evil, okay? Just like it says in this song, okay? So, it's true. When we get attacked by evil, we get attacked by prejudice and hate, okay? When a person gets attacked by evil, they get attacked by prejudice and hate. This attacks their love and freedom and tries to break them into fear or tries to break them, okay? And what happens is prejudice breaks love. So what happens is prejudice wants you to give up. So when a person gives up, they commit suicide. We don't want you to give up. Okay? We want you to never, ever, ever give up to win against evil. Because you're in the war for heaven. Okay? Know that you're in the war for heaven. You commit suicide, Satan wins. Okay? If you don't commit suicide, heaven wins. You win. Heaven wins. If you don't commit suicide. Okay? So, all right? Uh, what else? Yeah, okay? 
evil causes mental illness and suicide. So this is actually kind of like a suicide prevention video I'm making this week, okay? All right? So we're talking about how evil breaks you into suicide, okay? And that's what it does. We get attacked by prejudice and hate, and prejudice tries to break you into suicide because Satan wants to win, and we don't want Satan to win. We want you to win, okay? So never, ever commit suicide. Never, ever give up to win against evil. No matter how tough it gets, no matter how rough it gets, okay? Right? Me, I had to find a new talent. Okay? I was I was down and out for a long time. Okay? I had to find a new talent. Yeah. Okay? So to start repairing my soul. Okay? So that's what I did. I found a new talent and I started repairing my soul. I started singing. Okay? I was down and out for a long time. And what happened was, my soul was injured from being attacked by evil. And what I did was I started singing. And when I started singing, doing karaoke, that's when I started repairing my soul. Because I got into it and I said, you know, let me get into this. This is because I started feeling better. Okay? I noticed that I had singing as a, as a talent, yeah. I used to play bass guitar. Right? And I wasn't a professional bass player. I just was learning how to play bass guitar and I was doing really good. This is where I found out that I'm musically inclined, you know? So and then I started doing karaoke after I was attacked by evil. I was down and out for like the most longest time, you know? I was in a program and everything, yeah. So, I was attacked by evil, okay? This hurt. I was hurt for a long time, okay? And I started, what, you know, this is what happened to me. I'm, I can only tell you what happened to me, you know? I know what it feels like to be attacked by evil. It hurts, okay? And I was in a deep, deep depression for a long time, okay? I was attacked by evil so bad that I went numb. Okay? All right? And it hurt. Okay? So, all right? And what happened was I started, you know, I, they started giving me medications and stuff because they knew I was bipolar depressive because I was attacked by prejudice and hate. I was attacked by prejudice and hate so bad I was bipolar depressive. I had panic attacks. I had paranoia. Uh, what else? Uh, I had anxiety. Forget about it. I had all the above. Okay? I was attacked by evil. And it was caused by prejudice and hate. Okay? I was attacked by its prejudice and hate, trolls and cowards that live in fear okay and then I ended up in a program for quite a few years and you know back then I wasn't sure what was happening I just know I went into a deep depression and I was I was seeing prejudice and hate I was actually seeing prejudice and hate that's how bad I was attacked by it okay so I can only tell you what happened to me, you know? But I never gave up. I never gave up, okay? Winners don't quit, quitters don't win, okay? I always believed in myself and I never gave up to win, okay? Against evil, okay? And what happened was I started doing karaoke and I started feeling better and I started pulling me out of my depression that I was in. So I started overcoming it because I believed in myself and I never gave up. And what I did was I said, let me start singing, you know? And I started practicing singing every week. I was practicing, 
my singing every week and I was getting better and better and better and I started feeling better and I started feeling better too. Okay? So that's what happened to me. All right? And I was starting to see evil. I started seeing evil. Okay? As I was practicing, I started seeing evil. I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven and I started seeing evil. Okay? I started seeing evil and I wasn't sure what this was. I just knew it was prejudice and hate. Well, it's that prejudice and hate that keeps your soul out of heaven. Because it's fear and evil that keeps your soul out of heaven. As I increased the forces of my love and I started feeling better and better and better, I started seeing more and more and more of the truth because I always believed in myself and I never ever gave up to win against evil. And I started, you know, fighting prejudice and hate. Okay? All right? Okay? I followed Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. And I was fighting prejudice and hate. Okay? All right? And what happened was, as I was following Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way, I was removing my fear. Okay? And I was starting to see the difference between good and evil. And I started to see the difference between good and evil. But as I was starting to see the difference between good and evil, I was being attacked by prejudice and hate. I was being attacked by evil because I was in a war for heaven. So I was being attacked by evil because I was in a war for heaven. So I was being attacked by its prejudice and hate. Trolls and cowards that live in fear. Okay? I mean, this is what happened to me. And this happened to me because I delivered my soul to heaven. I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. Is how this all happened. Okay? I was being attacked by its prejudice and hate trolls and cowards at work. I was always in the war for heaven and didn't know it. And I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. Ten years ago. Okay? I can only tell you what happened to me. Okay? All I know is that when you never give up to win against evil, that prevents suicide. I just know it. Okay? I just know what I know because I'm part of heaven. Okay? All right? So, I can only tell you what happened to me. Everybody's experience may be slightly different. I can understand that. You know, just, you know what I mean? So, but I was attacked by a lot of prejudice and hate. Okay? Okay, all right? So, all right, uh, so what I'm making this video to prevent suicide, I was attacked by evil, and I never gave up to win, and that prevented me from committing suicide, okay? I was down and out, I was hurt for the longest time, okay? I just never gave up to win. Okay? I lived a life of no hope for like three years. Okay? And I just never committed suicide because I saw prejudice and hate. I saw evil. I saw prejudice and hate. And that prevented me from committing suicide. Okay? That's when I accidentally delivered my soul to heaven. Okay? So, what happens is people, their soul enters the war for heaven and they commit suicide because they went to mental illness and suicide because they were attacked by evil. I know that. And I'm trying, that's why I'm making these videos. Okay? So you know what evil is, and you know about the war for heaven, 
things like that. So you're aware of this stuff. Okay? All right? Okay? I'm talking to you as, as your best friend. Okay? We, Jesus Christ, love in heaven. We want to be your best friend. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. We, Jesus Christ, love in heaven. We love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Okay? All right? Uh, yeah. Okay? Um, let's talk about delivering your souls to heaven. Okay? Uh, let's, let me explain how an animal delivers its soul to heaven first. How an animal delivers their soul to heaven. See, all animals win when they die. Well, how do they do this? That's because they live in the wild. See, all animals live in the wild. And because they live in the wild, their souls are already in heaven. Now, how is, how is this possible? This is possible because they believe in themselves, right? They never, ever give up. Okay? An animal never gives up to win. To survive in the wild, okay? And that keeps its soul in heaven while it's alive. That's why animals are unconditional love, okay? Well, it works the same way with the human, except with the human, you're going up against fear and evil, okay? So what happens is, what happens is, you're going up against the fear and evil, so it's always believe in yourself, never ever give up to win against evil okay all right okay and that would be against prejudice and hate okay because that's prejudice and hate that's keeping your soul out of heaven okay and fear fear and prejudice and hate is keeping your soul out of heaven it's actually fear and evil okay so what happens is because you're in civilization you have fear and evil so it's always believe in yourself never ever give up to win against evil because you're living in civilization and you have fear and evil in civilization things like socialism communism and dictatorships are evil these keep your souls out of heaven okay all right let me tell you the, the things that fear cause okay and then we'll get back to delivering your soul to heaven the things that are caused by fear Let's talk about that for a minute, okay? Things that are caused by fear is things that are create uh, prejudice and hates created from fear, okay? Prejudice and hates created from fear, okay? Evils created from the prejudice and the hate, okay? Evil is created from the prejudice and the hate, all right? Uh, terrorism is created from prejudice and hate, which is created from fear. Okay? Everything's created from fear. All this bad stuff we see going on around the world is created from fear. It's actually created from fear. Because Satan is fear. Fear is Satan. Okay? Satan is fear. Fear is Satan. Okay? If you live in fear, you defend Satan. If you remove your fear, you defend heaven. Okay? Alright? Uh, what else? Um... What else is caused by fear? Uh, uh, evil's created from fear, okay? Fear, evil creates more fear, okay? It's just a vicious cycle. Fear and evil, fear and evil, fear and evil. And what we gotta do is we gotta break that cycle. And that's when we deliver your soul to heaven. We break that cycle, okay? So what happens is, what else is caused by fear? Uh, mental illness and suicide. Right? Right? That's caused by evil, okay? Hate and corruption. Hate and corruption is prejudice and hate. Okay? When you have hate and corruption, you have pain and suffering. Okay? Uh, all the chaos you see, that's created from prejudice and hate, which is created from fear. Okay? All the chaos. All the bad stuff you see going on around the world, that's... Prejudice and hate creates that. All that bad stuff is created from prejudice and hate, which is created from fear. It's all created from fear. Because Satan is fear. Fear is Satan. Okay? If you live in fear, you will defend Satan. If you remove your fear, you will defend heaven. 
okay? Now what happens is when you believe in yourself, fear goes against two things, okay? Fear goes against you believing in yourself, and it goes against you believing in heaven, okay? So if you live in fear, you're not going to believe in heaven, if you live in fear. If you live in fear, you are not going to believe in heaven, okay? If you have any fear in you, you're not going to believe in heaven. So that's why we got to remove the fear, okay? We got to make you believe in heaven again. See, what happened was a long time ago when when the fear was created and spread throughout the land with civilization, you all stopped delivering your souls to heaven because you stopped believing in heaven. You stopped believing in yourselves and you stopped believing in heaven, okay? Back when you were caveman, cavewoman and Indians and things like that, you were delivering your souls to heaven before civilization, okay? Because you had to survive in the wild. All right, okay? So, let's get back to delivering your souls to heaven now. You always believe in yourself, right? And we said fear goes against two things, you believing in yourself and believing in heaven. So the, the fear must be removed, okay? Now, in order to remove the fear, you believe in yourself, you never ever give up to win against evil, okay? You never ever give up to win against evil, okay? which is prejudice and hate, okay? You never ever give up to win against prejudice and hate, okay? So what you're doing is you're increasing the forces of your love by removing your fear. As you remove your fear, you will build courage, okay? This builds courage, okay? And by never giving up to win against evil, you're making your love unbreakable, okay? So as you're building courage and you're making your love unbreakable, now you're developing powerful, unbreakable love, okay? Jesus Christ is powerful, unbreakable love, okay? All right? All right, Jesus Christ is powerful, unbreakable love. So you're making your love the same as Jesus Christ. So what you're doing is you're following Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. When you believe in yourself and you never ever give up to win against evil, you're following Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. Okay? All right? So, okay? And do what they say can't be done. Okay? I want you to do what they say can't be done. Okay? Uh, things like, I can't, I cannot, that's impossible. You can't, you cannot. That's impossible. Uh, things of discouragement. All that is the laws of prejudice. Okay? That's your own fear. And what happens is you find that in prejudice and hate. You find the laws of prejudice in prejudice and hate. Things of discouragement are found in prejudice and hate. That when we get attacked by that. Okay? All right? Uh, do what they say can't be done. Okay? Yes, you can deliver your soul to heaven. Okay? Your soul gets delivered to heaven before you die. Okay? Your soul belongs in heaven while you're alive. Because if your soul is in heaven while you're alive, you'd be conquering evil. Okay? All right? Uh, what happens is, as you're developing this powerful, unbreakable love, now what's happening is you're starting to learn the difference between good and evil from heaven. You're learning the difference between good and evil from heaven. So you learn the difference between the forces of love and prejudice and hate from heaven, okay? And what you're gonna do is what's gonna happen, eventually you're gonna stop bowing and breaking. You will stop bowing and breaking to prejudice and hate. And you will only bow and break to Jesus Christ, love in heaven, okay? You will stop bowing and breaking, okay? You will stop believing in what's down here and start believing in what's up there. That's what's going to happen. Okay? And you will stop bowing and breaking to prejudice and hate and you will only bow and break to Jesus Christ's love in heaven. Okay? Alright? Uh, don't fear God. Okay? That's like the biggest mistake right there. I think everybody fears God. Don't fear God. God is your best friend. Jesus Christ's love in heaven is your best friend friend we love you we pray for you 
We chill lead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Okay? All right? Because as your soul's getting closer to heaven, you have entered the war for heaven, but your love is getting stronger and stronger and stronger because your love is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Now you're, what you're doing is, this is what you do when you deliver your soul to heaven. You're defending your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven. Okay? All right? And there is no judgment. Okay? There is no judgment. Don't fear judgment. Because there is no judgment. The only thing that's making you fear judgment is your own prejudice. Don't fear judgment because you're removing your prejudice. When you remove your fear, you're removing your prejudice. So now what you're doing is you're removing your fear and your corruption. So you're removing your prejudice. And as you remove your 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 fear and your prejudice, now you're gonna you're gonna stop prejudging and you're gonna stop hating others. You will stop prejudging and stop hating others because you removed your fear. When you removed your fear, you will stop prejudging and you will stop hating others. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? Yeah. Okay. You will stop prejudging and hating others. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? Um, yeah. As, as, as you remove all your fear, you become a non-sinner. Because now you're only bowing and breaking to Jesus Christ's love in heaven. And you stop bowing and breaking to prejudice and hate. So this is going to make you more of a non-sinner. And as you become a non-sinner, your soul enters heaven. That means you win. Okay? Now, if you know you're going to win when you die, you're not going to fear death. You're not going to fear death. You always... You never ever give up to win against evil. Never ever give up to win against evil. No matter what. And now keep your soul in heaven while you're alive. Okay? You only bow and break to Jesus Christ's love in heaven. Do not bow and break to prejudice and hate. Okay? And you will learn the difference between prejudice and hate and the forces of love. Okay? You will learn the difference. Okay? And you will learn the difference from heaven. Okay? You'll learn the difference from heaven. I learned the difference between prejudice and hate and its forces of love from heaven. Okay? So, so here's what you're doing. You're defending your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven. You are, you are defending love and freedom with its forces of love. That's what you're doing. You're defending love and freedom with its forces of love. You're defending love and freedom with its forces of love because heaven is a beautiful, tranquil, pure love and freedom for your soul. That's what heaven is. Heaven is a pure love and freedom for your soul. Because you're defending love and freedom with the forces of love, now you're defending heaven. Okay? Now you're defending heaven. All right? And, okay? Because this is what you did. You defended your love, heaven, while delivering your soul to heaven. When you get attacked by evil, you're defending heaven. When you win, heaven wins. When you win, heaven wins. When you conquer evil and win, heaven wins. This way, this way after you die, because you never give up to win against evil, your soul stays in heaven after you die. That means you win after you die okay all right uh what else okay now we're going to explain the causes and effect between prejudice and hate and its forces of love okay we have our prejudice and hate trolls and cowards that live in fear okay that is satan's army okay all right the prejudice and hate trolls and cowards that live in fear is satan's army Okay? All right? They live in fear. They attack the truth. They hate heaven. Right? And they attack the forces of love that come from heaven. Okay? All right? This is the prejudice of hate trolls and cowards. This is how they keep your souls out of heaven. They attack the truth. They hate heaven. Right? And they attack its forces of love that come from heaven. This is how they're keeping your soul out of heaven. Okay, so what happens is, as you 
deliver your soul to heaven correctly because you defended your love heaven while delivering your soul to heaven this is going to increase the forces of your love okay and when this increases the forces of your love this is going to react against their fear whose fear it's going to react against and whose prejudice is it going to hurt it's going to hurt its prejudice and hate trolls and cowards it's going to hurt their prejudice okay and then they're going to attack you with things like hate ball breaking chop breaking the stab in the back prejudice attack okay they're going to talk behind your back they're going to blame you for this blame you for that everything is your fault they're going to troll you forget about it forget about it because now you're in the war for heaven right and when they can't break your love you're going to drive them mad that drives them mad so you're going to drive the trolls and cowards out of their out of their minds you're going to drive them mad when they can't break your love and they're going to keep coming back at you with hate ball breaking job breaking the stab in the back prejudice attack they're going to talk behind your back they're going to blame you for this blame you for that everything is your fault nothing's ever good enough forget about it you understand because now you're in the war for heaven okay let's say somebody let's say somebody hates you and you know they hate you because you're going to sense things see when you're in your souls in heaven you sense things like hate love and fear you sense hate love and fear when your soul is in heaven okay when your soul is in heaven you're going to sense hate love and fear because i sense it that's for sure okay all right and what happens is as your soul's in heaven you're going to see evil you're going to see prejudice and hate you're going to see it for what it is okay let's say somebody hates you somebody's breaking your balls breaking your jobs you know you can say hey go pound sand go kick rocks I win when I die <laughs> you laugh at them you laugh at them okay they're the ones following Satan into the gates of hell the prejudice and hate trolls and cowards that live in fear follow Satan into the gates of hell that's what they do because they live in fear because they live in fear what's that mean they defend Satan because they live in fear. Okay? All right? Now, let's say, let's say because they can't break you, and that, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to break you because they want to keep your love weak and broken in fear. Because they want to keep your love weak and broken in fear, they're going to try to break you. And they want to keep you broken to keep you in fear because they want to keep your soul out of heaven. Because, see, when your soul's in heaven, you become a threat. You become a threat to Satan when your soul's in heaven. Okay? And that's why they're going to attack you. Okay? Well, let's, let's, say, let's say somebody hates you. And, and they're, they're trolling you. And they can't break you. And they never leave you alone. You tell them, hey, take your prejudice and hate and shove it up your... You know what I mean. This is a war. This is not a religion. This is a war. You understand? This is a war. This is not a religion. Okay? You tell those prejudice and hate trolls and cowards to take their prejudice and hate and stick it. Yeah. Because you, you follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. You follow Jesus Christ to heaven the correct way. They follow Satan into the gates of hell. You can tell them to go pound sand, go kick rocks. You're the one with the last laugh. You're the one that's going to win when they die. You're the one that's going to win when they die. You. They ain't going to win when they die. They're following Satan into the gates of hell because they live in fear. Okay? Right? Uh, yeah. It pretty much does that. Okay? Excuse me. All right? So, we love you.
Jesus Christ, love in heaven. We love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, okay? But when your soul's in heaven, you are defending love and freedom with its forces of love. Evil attacks love and freedom, okay? Evil attacks love and freedom. You defend love and freedom when you defend heaven, okay? That's why evil takes your freedoms away, okay? That's why things like socialism, communism, and dictatorships, they take your freedoms away because they attack your love and freedom. Things like socialism, communism, and dictatorships are evil. These take your freedoms away, keeping your soul out of heaven. That's what they do. They try to keep you in fear. By keeping you in fear, they're keeping your soul out of heaven and you never see the truth from heaven. By keeping you in fear, they're keeping your soul out of heaven, right? And you never see the truth from heaven. By keeping you in fear. That's, that's what Satan does. Satan keeps you in fear, right? So you're under his control. That's what Satan does. Okay? I'm trying to show you how to go against this and remove your fear. That's what all these videos are about. How to remove your fear and deliver your soul to heaven the correct way. Okay? All right? Um, yeah. All right? We love you. Jesus Christ, love in heaven. Okay? We love you. We pray for you. We cheerlead your soul to heaven. And if you get attacked by evil, we got your back. Until next week, I love you.